It has been a long offseason for the Razorbacks. But year number two under Chad Morris, just moments away as we celebrate 150 years of college football, 126 of those seasons have encompassed an Arkansas football team as they get ready to take the stage here at Reynolds Razorback Stadium on a warm afternoon in the Oz. So on second down, they will throw it here or look to throw it. Pocket collapses and a lot of room to run for Alexander. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Leg. So second down coming up for the Vikings. Look right, trying to throw left. Pressure comes and Dorian and Gerald down. got there. Pressure comes on a corner blitz. Alexander has time, but it's batted in the air, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. He has a 50-yarder on the way from the sophomore Cody Williams, who last year hit a 52-yarder. And he makes it by a couple of yards. 11 of 14 last year, and he staff. starts off at Arkansas. Third down and longs were a disaster for the Hogs a year ago. They will complete this one here. The pass is caught by the freshman. Inside the box. Get... He's shown it. He's done it. First series making positive plays. Here's Boyd off the right side. Breaks a couple of tackles running hard to the 40-yard line. Give him a dozen and a first-yard field goal. 19 out of 24 a year ago. The left footer will hammer that one through the uprights. <laughs> He is a good one. Career he is uh, unique, fun, energetic, positive. All those words apply to Coach now in his fifth season. And they want to play that way throughout the day. 17 returning starters. Alexander just nowhere to go. He will lose seven Not by the staff to go and lock up some of the most talented players in the country as Boy picks up the first down to, to midfield. Hicks to throw. Long throw. That one caught on the sideline. They're going to say catch is made inside the 35 at the 34. The 113th in the country. Last in the SEC. A lot of room to run. Warren inside the 15. Down to the 13-yard line. Quick throw and catch. Grayson Gunner. Flag comes in, in the backfield. Don't work out of that shotgun. Hand off to Whaley, dives for the end zone. Does he get in? Yes, he does. Whaley from one yard out. We'll dump it off underneath. Hoffman has some running room. He'll have a first down, down and I'm coming to play here. football coach. Toss sweep. Hoffman. Boy, there's some of that Arkansas speed. Montero Brown. I'm surprised he didn't say I wore it because of DJ Shotgun. <laughs> he said it in the head. Yeah. On fourth down, here we go. Alexander dives for it. They'll see where they spot it. It's going to be very close to the line again. The so from the far hash. Good clean snap. Kick is on the way. He hits it again. And as the penalty is enforced, the curl gets to stay in the game. Alexander doing what he has done for the most part of the first half, and that is run for his life. And there is curl. Play clock down to two. Dorian Gerald ben Hicks decides to, to come wrap. here. It was after that that Nick Starkle decided to come. You know, usually these guys looking for immediate opportunities to play. Jace Harrell with the reception there in the first heat. It makes the whole entire team better. They'll delay handoff. Nice run there from Devla Whaley. Gonna happen. <laughs> that first and ten for the Vikings. And off to the right side. Carlos Moore is not punt. Alexander. Threw it right into the hands of Cameron Curl. He's to the 30, to the 20, and out of bounds. Nick 
Over the middle. It is picked off at the five-yard line. Robert Holt with the interception to snuff out the Arkansas scoring opportunity. First down, excuse me, third down and 10. Alexander scrambling and loses his helmet. So On now first he's down got to come off. to the 35. Over the middle as a man. Trey Knox inside the 30. Another since the turner on a play. No timeout, so the Hawks will get it to Boyd, who will get out of bounds and picks up the first down. And that will be the last play of the half. Hicks steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle. The pass is caught by the freshman Traylon Burks. Boy, Alexander's finally dropped. Fresh set of hands for the Vikings. Boy, swarmed by four Arkansas the points players. The yards you would think they would. Hey, defensively, they had a couple of opportunities late in the fourth quarter to have some third down stops and couldn't get off the field. Here's Rakeem Boyd, takes a simple pass and turns it into a 12-yard gain. Robert Holt finally hanging on. Just shocking. Wow. And this is kind of shocking as well that Portland State's only down four, but an un unbelievable pick by McClellan. Arkansas, three out of ten on third downs. These are the situations that destroyed them offensively last year. That's floated in the air, but it is caught around the 45 yard line by Mike Woods. Here's Rakeem Boyd. Has some room down to the five yard line. Here's Boyd diving for the end zone, and he will have six for the Razorbacks. You can really hold on to it. Alexander will be dropped. Hayden Henry. Second down and ten. They'll go with Warren around the edge. Boy, all day to throw for Hicks. Goes back to the wide side of the field. The pass is caught by Traylon Burks. Connor Limpert on. He's already hit from 34. This one from 25, and he will knock it through the uprights. Right, he's just for this program, and I hope he is back and ready to play next week. Nowhere to run Our for Easton, and he is strength. dropped. So fourth down again. Arkansas bringing the house. Easton nowhere to go. Throws on the run, and that one is caught. Touchdown, Portland State. Dallas Payout. Portland State. Here's Boyd, comes near side. Rakeem Boyd hurdles the man out of bounds. Boyd He'll have the first off down. The field. Good clean snap, four-man rush. Eason throws deep down the middle, and that is picked off. Joe Fouché, and he is tackled around the 39-yard line, and that'll do it. Look on at the ground. Game. Arkansas wasn't pretty, but they do pick up the win, 20-13 over Portland State. Time for us.